Hi, I am Venkat, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office at Portland. Today I am going to show you how to set up your Amazon Simple Storage Service bucket so that you can require full control access for cross account uploads. Let's get started. After logging into the AWS management console, let's go to the bucket where we want to upload the objects to. Notice that there's an object already put into the root of the bucket. We will work with this object later in this video. From the root of the bucket, we see permissions tab at the top. Choose the permissions tab and scroll down to the bucket policy. Choose edit to edit the bucket policy. After editing the bucket policy, save this policy. I have already saved this policy on this bucket. Now let's go to the other account and create a policy to allow access to put object and put object ACL and also to set list bucket permissions. Now go to the user who will be allowed to make the cross account request from that account. As we can see, I have attached an existing AWS identity and access management policy to this user. If we see the IAM policy here, then we have already added the require permissions to the user. Now, log into the command line with these IAM user credentials using AWS configure and provide the credentials of the user. You can get the credentials information when you create the user. Just be sure to note them for use later. To confirm that we are logged in as that cross account user, run AWS STS get caller identity using the AWS command line interface. From my local disk, I will use the following command to copy a file to the cross account S3 bucket along with a adding bucket owner full control argument. Let's move back to the console where we open the root of bucket we can see that the object is copied. Let's select the object and view the permissions to see that the bucket account has full control ACL over the object. If we now try to copy an object from my local disk to the cross account S3 bucket without specifying the ACL by using this command, we get the access denied error because we haven't specified the required ACL for us to bypass the bucket policy. Now, let's look into a case where the object was already placed into the destination bucket without providing full control access at ACL level. But later, we modified the bucket policy. Here is an object in the root of the bucket, which was present even before the bucket policy was changed. If we select the object and go to permissions, we can see that the object owner and full control ACL is allocated to only the cross account where the copy operation was completed from. In this case, if we run the following command using put object ACL API, the cross account bucket is granted the bucket owner full control ACLs. Now, when we go to the bucket to check for the object ACL, we can see that the bucket account has full control access and the owner of object is still the cross account. Note that the bucket owner full control ACL grants the bucket owner full access to an object uploaded by another account. But this doesn't mean that the ownership of the object is changed. The owner of the object is still the cross account. By default, an S3 object 
is owned by the AWS account that uploaded the object. If we want to automatically get ownership of objects uploaded with the bucket owner full control ACL, we must set the S3 object ownership to the bucket owner preferred by navigating to the S3 bucket. After opening the S3 console and navigating to the bucket list, let's choose the name of the bucket where we want to enable S3 object ownership. From permissions tab, let's choose edit. Under object ownership, choose bucket owner preferred and save these settings. Now, when we go back to command line, if we copy an object with bucket owner full control ACL, we see that the object is successfully copied. When we go to the bucket to check for the object ACL, we can see the permissions by selecting the object and we see that the object owner is changed to the bucket account. So now we know that when a bucket policy is placed with bucket owner full control ACL condition, the cross account users will be mandated to upload objects to the bucket by giving full control access only to the bucket account so that the bucket owner account can now have access to the object. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.